So today's theme was cryptid, and finally I have the talk sprites back. I thought a fun thing I could do for today's prompt would be a little scene where I have a few cryptids hidden all over the place. The first and most obvious one is, you know, Bigfoot, I'm giving you that one, but I'm not going to tell you the ones in the rest of the drawing, since they're either one a little more obvious, or I just want you guys to find out. Because whoever can name all five in the drawing, I'm just telling you if there's five, I don't want you guys to overthink it, um, they will get pinned. I don't know, maybe you want some dopamine to know that I pinned you or something, I don't know why you would think that that would work, but I don't know. Uh, Jinski ink for the grass, that's what I used. In the front, I just got a couple trees in the foreground and some bushes. And we got Bigfoot walking in front, just being himself. I had a hard time drawing him. At first, the arms were way too weird. Like, I made the back part of the arm shorter than the front, so it looked kind of awkward. And I made the hands look a bit more like paws, but the style's lineless, so it didn't really matter in the end. So, anyway. I drew the feet really small at first, and I don't know why. His name is Bigfoot. That's really dumb. <laughs> why would I give a thing with big feet a tiny feet? <laughs> um, in the background, I just added a bit more detail into it. I added a nice little island. That's not an island. It's just a separate part of land being parted by a giant river. With a denser forest in the background. I used the Gaussian Blur to just make it look a bit more fuzzy in perspective. And yeah, I added some grass with the Jenski ink to make it look like river reeds, even though I was too lazy to add cattails. And I also added a little fallen tree just for some extra detail, and I wanted it to look a bit more interesting to the eye. For the overall piece, I used more muted greens just to make it give off a more mysterious and unknown vibe since these are cryptids after all. There were several other cryptids I wanted to include, but they were either one, not suitable for the environment I was going to put them in, or two, six miles wide or at least the size of a house. There was one mythical creature or cryptid I wanted to include, but I was mad because I couldn't remember what it was called. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it, but I thought it was really cool. They're brown, they only use their snouts for things, and I think they're the size of a rat. I don't know what they're called. I remember exactly what they look like. It's like a shrew, but with a longer snout and no limbs. Except for the face. If any of you know what that is, please tell me because I thought it was really cool and I miss it. Anyway, so I am onto shading at this point, And I did not like shading the trees. That was really boring for me to do. Anyway. Um, trying to smooth out the shading with Gen C ink once again, and then I'm on to the highlights. I used a brush that I thought looked a bit like clouds, which I thought would work a bit more on the bushes. And then I went and smoothed out the shading on the trees, and then I added the little white eyes that glowed into your soul on all of the cryptids in the background. Add some extra details, put some layers over it, and yeah, that was it for today. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.